Welcome back to our last day at Rocky Railway. When we're trusting Jesus to pull us through life's ups and downs, let's sing The Power Will Pull Us Through. And celebrate with your awesome voices to let everybody know that VBS is beginning today. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you Jesus you're all Today, we meet Lawrence Elk, who helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Lawrence the Elk is a good leader to his herd. What's a herd? A herd is a group of elk. So how about you? Are you a good friend to the people that are in your herd, to your group of friends? Let's listen to Lawrence Elk talk to us about being a good friend. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk, not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass, but in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. 
It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! No, just stay there. I've got it. No, it's fine. I'm taking care of it. Just stay there. <laughs> wow, Cam. You seem really steamed up. <laughs> oh, it seems like he's really going off the rails. <laughs> You're not helping. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a train engineer thing. Y you wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah? Try me. I bet I can track right with you. Really? You're gonna have to stop with the train jokes. Okay, I'm listening. Well, but one more. I'm all engine ears. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Fine, well, so two people usually drive a steam engine. The engineer okay. and the fireman. A fireman? Like with a big red truck and a Dalmatian? No, not like that. Like a fireman on a train engine is the person who shovels the coal and throws it into the fire to make all the steam. Oh, okay. I'm tracking so far. Anyway, we got a new fireman on my crew and he is driving me crazy. He never ever stops talking. All it ever is is, hey Cam, how you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine's purple. Hey, you seem really old. How old are you? Oh. You're so old. Were you there when the train was invented? Hey, you want to hear a train joke? What do you call a train that's carrying bubble gum? A choo-choo train. <laughs> that's so funny. Hey, why aren't you laughing, Cam? You don't like me, Cam. I don't think you like me. <gasps> well, that's okay. I'm going to make you like me. You want to hear another train joke? Why was the train so good at his job? Because he's in training. <laughs> Shh. Cam, it doesn't sound like you're being very nice to this person. It kind of sounds like you're making fun of them. You just don't understand what it's like to be constantly interrupted when you're trying to work. Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. Cam, being loving to others is so important. And if you're having a hard time being a good friend, you can ask Jesus for help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Yeah, but what if someone just won't stop talking? Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You should talk to Jesus, pray to him, and ask him for patience, and for the eyes to see this new crew member the way Jesus sees him. Maybe this guy's lonely. Maybe he needs someone to talk to. You never know what someone's going through. And sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need our friendship the most. Yeah, you're right. 
I guess I'll have some time on this long haul on our next journey to practice being a good friend. I'm going to need the power of Jesus. <laughs> would, would you mind praying with me b before I go? Uh, of course I will. We'll, we'll wrap up here and then we can pray together before you go on your trip. And who knows, maybe Jesus put this guy on your crew so that you can show him Jesus's love like no one else. Me? A job only I can do? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I I'm going to finish putting the supplies together for our next trip and, and then I'll come right back here so we can pray. Okay, sounds good. I was wondering, what are some of the favorite things that you like to do with a friend? Maybe this would be a good time for you to talk to the person that you're watching this video with about some of the favorite things that you like to do with your friends. And then be sure and come back so we can talk to you about how Jesus helps us to be good friends. An engine is strong enough to pull lots and lots of train cars. That reminds me of the way that Jesus is strong enough to help us do so many incredible things. All of this time for Vacation Bible School, we've been learning about Jesus' awesome power. Jesus even had the power to come back to life after he died. And Jesus' power lets us live forever in heaven with him. And that is great news. But you know what? When Jesus' friends told people that great news, many more people became Jesus' friends. Now's the time that you get to listen very carefully to the words that come from the Bible. From the book of Acts, we're learning that the church is united. Listen real carefully to the Bible story today, and then we'll talk more when you're done. Hello friends. I'm so glad that you're here to, to celebrate with us as we think about how Jesus interacts with you and, and talks to you and comes into your heart. Uh, many, many years ago, when the church was first starting, when people were starting to get to know about Jesus, there was a very special thing that happened um, at a big place where people were gathering and they were starting to learn to, about Jesus, someone talked to them and a very special thing happened. The Holy Spirit of Jesus, which is part of Jesus and part of God the Father, all together they make God. And they came into this place where all of these people were gathering and they all felt a very strong presence of God. Um, he came into them and came into their hearts and made them very loving. And I would like to talk to you a little bit about Jesus' power and how it helps us all to be good friends. I'm sure you all have very special friends. You can even think of your brothers and sisters as friends and all of those people that you love, Jesus puts a, spe a special thing into your heart that helps you to love them more. There's a passage that I would like to read to you. First of all, it's from John 15, verse 12. You might have heard a little bit about it already. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. And that is Jesus telling us to love everybody the way he loves us, which is a very great love. I'd like to tell you a little bit about what had happened when this strong love came into all the people that heard about him and that Jesus' spirit came into. They, there's a little passage that I would like to read to you about the disciples that were there. And they gathered with all the people in that area that had heard about Jesus. And the disciples persuaded many people to change their lives and follow Jesus. On the first day that Peter preached to the crowds, the number of believers increased to 3,000. That's a whole lot of people. 
And that's how many people became believers in Jesus that day when they heard Peter speak and the Holy Spirit came. All the new believers were eager to find out more about Jesus. They spent much of their time learning from Peter and the other disciples. The believers met together, they prayed, and they became very, very strong, close friends. They ate meals together, they shared all of their things. If they had something, they sold it and they brought the money into their their group of believers there and they shared everything that they had. They sold all of their possessions and gave the money to the people in their group who needed help. As the day passed, the number of believers grew and grew. They shared things together, they loved each other, and they were very special friends. And that's what Jesus wants for you too. He wants to use the power of love that he puts within you to be extra special friends with everyone that you meet. Thank you for coming and being with us this week. See you again. Today, we're learning about how Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You know, sometimes friends get together and they form a circle of friends and some people are left out. Jesus' first followers, the very first Christians, had sort of an inner circle, but they didn't try to keep anybody out like this picture is showing. In fact, what they did was they invited everyone in. After Jesus died and came back to life, he went back to heaven and his followers and his friends told as many people as they could about Jesus. You heard a little bit about that with Peter and John's adventure. And when these people told other people, and more told people told other people, well, pretty soon lots of people believed in Jesus. The Bible says that people stopped and listened to the teachings of Jesus, just like these students might be listening to their teacher. They took the time to listen. Jesus talked to his followers, to his disciples, and he told them more about how to live as Christians. The really neat thing about the way that the Christians lived back then was that they all helped one another. Those people who had more than they needed helped the people who were in need. Kind of like these kids today are taking food that maybe they don't need and they're giving it to a food drive to have people who need food be able to be helped. The Christians shared what they had. The Bible says they shared so well that no one was left without having what they needed. So the Christian church began to grow and grow and grow. And pretty soon, instead of an inner circle where someone was left out, the circle of Christians got even bigger. Remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. And you are a good friend to people today when you share God's love. Hi friends, welcome back to KidVid Cinema. It's hard for me to believe that VBS is just about over. You know, I look forward to VBS every year, so I'm a little bit sad when it has to end. But let's make the most of today, shall we?
Well, we've learned a lot of important things at BBS this year, haven't we? And I thought it'd be a good idea to review them. You know, when we talk about them, it keeps them fresh in our mind. And then we'll always remember those lessons we learned. Isn't that neat? Well, do you remember back on the very first day of BBS? We learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! We watched a video about a boy named Dominic. Remember, he was trying to take a karate test, and he was having a hard time breaking that board. But he asked Jesus to help him, and he practiced real hard, and Jesus gave him the confidence to pass his test. And in the end, he did break that board, didn't he? Um, we also learned a great verse that day. Remember? Let's do it together. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Yes, that's from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's do it one more time. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. And then on the second day, our second lesson of BBS, we learned Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. That's right. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. We uh, watched a video, do you remember, about a girl named Annalise? And uh, she brought hope to her grandmother through her music. Jesus uh, helped give Annalise hope, and she was able to share that hope with her sick grandmother and other people through her music. Wasn't that great? And we also learned another great verse that day. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord, from Psalm 31, 24. Let's do that together. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. One more time. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. What a great verse. And then the third lesson we learned at BBS was Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Yeah. And remember we watched a video about a girl named Lauren who asked Jesus to help her be bold so that she could go and serve men and women who didn't have enough to eat at the community kitchen. Jesus helped her be bold to help go serve and she was able to bring Jesus' love to the people there just through her actions. That was great. And the verse we learned that day, oops, He, meaning God, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. That's from Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 29. Let's do that one more time. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. All right. Then last time we met, we learned that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Let's do it one more time. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! And we watched a video about a boy named Isaac. And Isaac was sad when his brother Joel um, died. But Isaac knows that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to take away our sins. And he also knows 
that his brother Joel loved and trusted in Jesus. So his, he's going to be able to see him again someday in heaven. Isn't that great? Well, wow. we learned a great verse that day. The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. Let's do that again. The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. And we talked about how when you put your love and trust in Jesus, the very Holy Spirit of God comes and lives right in you. Isn't that fantastic? And then, that takes us to today. And we're learning about Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Let's do that one more time. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Well, today we're going to be watching a video about two girls. And I want you to watch the video and see what we can learn about being good friends from them. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends, and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, and we do skits, and stuff like that. Ansel's Manos is Spanish for In His Hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking, like, um, at the end, looking at, like, all the kids all smiling and laughing and like. Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ansus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people? A lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they help me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Alina and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So he helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship him and praise him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally. So we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Wasn't that a great video about friends? I thought it was neat that Renee and Lena 
could work together in that puppet ministry. And um, as they were serving God, they became good friends. And I find that to be um, true in my own life. A lot of times I do something and maybe working on a project um, for God, like when we go build houses down in Mexico. And maybe at the start, I don't know everyone on the trip too well, but by the time we're done, we're good friends. That's just one of the many blessings that come when you serve God alongside others. What are some of the things you like to do with your friends? I bet you can think of lots of things, huh? Well, this might be a good time to pause the video and talk about your friends with the people you're with. But besides talking about what you like to do with your friends, I'd like you to think about what are some of the qualities that you like to see in a good friend? What is it you look for when you want to make a friend? Think of those qualities that you would like to have in a friend. And after you're done talking about it, come on back to the video. If you're like me, you like a friend that is kind, helpful, maybe good at sharing. How about funny? <laughs> I like to laugh. <laughs> um, sometimes um, friendships are easy to make and sometimes um, friendships are not so easy to make. Did you know, uh, notice our Bible point today? It says, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Let's do that again. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. It doesn't say that Jesus' power gives us lots of good friends, does it? No. But the secret to having good friends is to be a good friend. You know, when you develop those qualities that you would like to have in a good friend, well, then other people see that and they want to be your friend. That's how you get lots of good friends. Isn't that great? You know, Jesus is the best friend that any of us could ever have. He gave up his life for you. Yeah. He loves you that much. He was willing to die on a cross so that your sins could be forgiven, and my sins, and everybody's sins, so that we could be with him in heaven someday. Now that's a lot of love. Our Bible verse today is really great because Jesus tells us exactly how to be a good friend. It's from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 12. And we know that Jesus said these because if you look in your Bible and read around there, you can see that Jesus is talking. But in some people's Bibles, I don't know if it, the Bible you have at home is like this, but in my this Bible, see that? The words of Jesus are written right in red. And that distinguishes them from the rest of the Bible, which is printed in regular black ink. So just by a glance, I know Jesus was saying this. So our verse today is love each other in the same way I have loved you. Now the motions that we're going to use is um, for love each other. If you're with someone, you can put your arm around them like you're giving them a hug. Now I'm by myself, so I'm just going to pretend I'm hugging you, okay? And then when we say in the same way I... We know that I is Jesus, so we're going to point up. And then have loved you. And I'm going to point to you. You can point to me or whoever you're with, okay? So let's try to do that together. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Let's do that again. Love each other. In the same way I have loved you. Let's do it one more time. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. 
And that's from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 12. Um, so basically this verse is saying, Jesus is saying to us that he wants us to love other people like he loves us. So how can we do that? Well, we can't die on a cross to take away the sins of our friends, can we? No, only Jesus could do that. But there are lots of other things that Jesus did to show love that we can also do. And let's look at our lessons that we learned this week, because I think they can help us to know how to be a good friend. Remember, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. You know, maybe you can help a friend do something hard. You know, like when we learned that Dominic learned karate, right? Um, maybe he could teach one of his friends some karate moves. But a lot of us don't know karate, so maybe you could do something else that's difficult for your friend. You could even help them, like clean their room or something that they don't like to do. Sometimes working together on a hard project makes it fun and easy. There's a, I bet there's a lot of things you can think of to help your friend. Then, Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. How can you give hope to your friends or the people you know in your life? You know, we saw the video about Annalise who uh, liked to make music to bring hope to people. Well, you could do that. You could bring hope through your music. Maybe you don't play an instrument, but you could sing a song. Or if your friend is sick or someone you know is sick, you could make them a get well card and send it to them. I bet that would make them feel better. And then we learn, Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Maybe you can go with a friend to a community kitchen like um, Lauren did. Remember um, in the video we watched about Lauren? Uh, sometimes, if you go with your friend, even the, um, if neither of you have done that, you can both help each other be a little bit bold and do something different like that. If you are there, are no, if there are no community kitchens near you, you could always um, do some other service project. And then we learn. Jesus' power helps us live forever. Trust Jesus. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. You know, um, something you could do is to tell your friends about Jesus and how much Jesus loves them, just like he loves you. Everyone needs to know about Jesus' love. And that might be just the best bold thing that you could do for your friend is to tell them about Jesus. And then today we learn that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Remember, if you want to have good friends, you need to be a good friend. So use Jesus' power that lives right in you. And then you'll be able to make good friends. You'll be able to be the kind of person that other people will want to be friends with. And remember um, what Jesus said, because this will help love each other, love each other in the same way I have loved you. When we listen to Jesus' words and we try to do what Jesus said in the Bible, then we are going to be the kind of person that other people want to be friends with. And we're going to have lots of good friends just like Jesus. You know, I thought of another way that we can share God's love with other people. And that's our mission, remember? Oh, these are heavy. <laughs> How'd your collection go? Well, we were trying to raise money, remember, um, to send down to Yasleta Lutheran Mission so that they can buy lots of Bibles to bring 
to the men and women that are in the prison and the detention centers there? Because we want them to read about Jesus' love for them. And maybe they'll put their trust in Jesus and love him too. And that will change their life forever. And we, we'll see them in heaven someday. You know, at the end of VBS, we're going to gather all the money together and I'll count it up and I'll let you know um, in the future uh, how much money we raised and how many Bibles we'll be able to buy and send down there. Isn't that great? Well, I just wanted to thank you for um, collecting the money for the Bibles and I also wanted to um, say God bless you for your generous heart. Well, I think we should thank Jesus right now. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, your power and love are amazing. Thank you for being the best friend we'll ever have. Thank you for showing us how to be good friends. Thank you for loving us. Please help us to love others as you love us. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks again, friends, for joining me this last day at Kidbid Cinema. Um, thanks for learning with me right in my kitchen. <laughs> and we didn't get to be together physically, but we did learn some great things, didn't we? So until next time, I'll see you at BBS next year. Bye-bye. Welcome to our last imagination station. Today you're going to look in your railroad supply bag for a bag that says day five. Inside the day five bag are some coloring sheets that you can do anytime you would like. And we also have The Bible Buddy, Meet Lawrence the Elk. Lawrence the Elk has a, a suggestion for us to call out, elk call out to their herds, making a loud sound called bugling. That's how they stick together. And look, they look out for each other. Who do you call out to when you need help? We can always call on Jesus. Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. So the activity for this week's Bible, Vacation Bible School is to call a friend or family member on the phone. If you don't have a phone, maybe your uh, parent or caretaker can help you call somebody to see how they're doing. Sometimes children like to text each other, older children who have their own phone. Uh, maybe what you can do is call out to a neighbor, actually go outside and call to someone that you know. Also inside the bag, are a couple of puzzles. One is a jigsaw puzzle and there are different train pictures. Each one has mm, about 20 or 24 pieces and what you do with this puzzle is you dump all the pieces out on a flat surface like a table or a desk and then you work to assemble the puzzle. When I do a puzzle I like to put the flat ends together first because that's usually the outside. And then what you need to do is look for the pieces that go together. Like I can see here these two pieces go together because they form the word Jesus. If you don't have, if you don't know how to do puzzles, 
or haven't done a puzzle before, maybe what you need to do is get an adult helper or an older child to help you put the puzzle together. Puzzles help you solve problems because they make you think about how things go together. Friends and family go together. You probably have lots of friends and lots of family who you like to be with. Think about that when you're doing your puzzle. How we fit together in groups, family groups, school groups, vacation Bible study or Sunday school groups, and groups of friends. There's also another puzzle in there. It's what I used to call a maze puzzle. They've had these puzzles for a long time. If you can see, there's a tiny little ball inside that train puzzle. And as you move it back and forth, you make the ball go through a little plastic maze. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes it moves around. And you have to try to get it from one end of the puzzle to the other. It's a fun activity. Putting the little ball through the maze helps you think about how life is kind of like that sometimes. How you're trying to get somewhere and there's things that keep you from getting where you want to go. If you ever need help getting somewhere, do what Mr. Rogers used to say on television and that is look for the helpers. And as always, Jesus is always there to help you and all you have to do is ask him. The last activity is a power bracelet. This bracelet kit in this little bag will help you build a bracelet to remind you of all the things that you've studied in all the weeks of Vacation Bible School. I'm going to take the lid of a plastic dish and I'm going to use it to keep my beads from falling off the table. So inside this bag with your little power bracelet kit. There's a string. Mine is blue. Yours might be another color. And then there are a number of beads. There are some white ones, and some brown ones, and some black ones. Now, earlier in the week we learned about how trains have power and Jesus has power and trains run on energy and the black beads represent the coal that is sometimes burned in train engines to make them go. The brown beads and the white beads represent wood that is also burned in engines to make the engine go. So just like coal and wood powers a train, Jesus gives us power to live our lives as his children. So the first thing you want to do, oh, also there's a little cross bead. And it's on a little ring, and that will help you get the string, well, you'll put the string through the ring in the bead, and that'll help the bead fasten on the bracelet. So the first thing you want to do is put a bead, any bead, it doesn't matter, onto the bracelet string and tie a knot in it. And what this does is it helps you keep the rest of the beads from falling off the string. And then you just put as many beads on the string as you like and you can put them on in any order. As you're putting them on, think about how Jesus has the power to help you do hard things. He has the power to help you be, good, be a good friend. He has the power to give you hope. He's a very important friend for us. And this bracelet will help us remember him. When you get about half your beads on the string, take your cross bead and put the string through a little ring. And when you're done with your bracelet, it'll sort of hang in the middle like a decoration. And it'll be there to remind you to think about Jesus. Maybe it'll be there to help you say your prayers before you go to bed or before dinner or when you get up. Or just when you're having a hard day and you want to talk to Jesus. You can talk to him anytime. He's always there. 
You know you can't see him, but he's always there, and he's there in your heart. After you've got enough beads strung on so that the bracelet will fit around your wrist, then what you can do is tie a knot. And if you can't tie a knot yourself, have one of your adult helpers help you tie the knot so that it doesn't come apart. So you can either leave the bead on that you put on as a stopper, or you can take it off, or you can let it go back on the bracelet. So I'm going to undo the knot that I had on there before, and I'm going to tie another knot in this bracelet. I want to leave enough room so that I can get my hand in the bracelet, but I don't want it so big that it's going to fall off. So there, I finished my power bracelet. That finishes the Imagination Station for Day 5. This is the last day of Vacation Bible School. I'm very sad to have it end, but I'm happy that you could all be here with us during our extra fun five days of Vacation Bible School. Please remember, Jesus loves you. All the crafts you did this Vacation Bible School, even though it was virtual, and I wasn't there to do them with you. I really enjoyed showing them to you. I hope that you enjoyed coming to Vacation Bible School and that maybe we can see you at Peace Lutheran Church sometime in the future. You're always welcome. And remember, Jesus loves you. Now it's time for God sightings. Remember that we can find God in many different ways just in all of the things that we do in our world. Today I was thinking that you could find a place where you were surprised to find God's love. Has God ever surprised you with a reminder of his love? Why don't you look around and think about the places you go? Think of you of a place that's a surprise and enjoy finding a God sighting. Would you pray with me? Lord, we thank you that because of Jesus, we have friendship with you. Thank you for the love we have for each other as friends in Christ. Help me to remember to love others as you do, so that my friends will see your love in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. You know, it's been fun here riding the rail with everyone here at the Rocky Railway. A long time ago, trains were the best way to take a long trip. There was no cars like we have today. Today you have many avenues. Talk with your parents. Remember the longest trip you've taken. Maybe you went by train. Maybe you went by plane. Maybe you went by car. Share with your family or share with one another what kind of trips you take. Well, that about wraps it up here at, at Rocky Railway. It's been fun serving you and being on the train with you, but for now, it's time for us to say goodbye. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. On the
this journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Whoa, whoa, whoa We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus You're all, you're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you Spaces for wide 